In this demonstration, I'm going to split the workflow path into two parallel paths for an employee onboarding process. This workflow starts by updating the status of a new employee's record as processing. From there, I'm going to split the workflow to go to both human resources and IT operations. I'll first drag a split workflow step over from the toolbox here on the left and drop it in just below my set status processing step. Note, you can typically find the split step in the favorite section or if you dig into the logic group of steps, you'll find it there. Next, I'll connect these steps by hovering over the set status step and drag a line down to connect to the split step and quickly rename this step to split to HR and IT. This label will be helpful in configuring the merge step when we get there. By default, the split step gives us two paths we can follow. However, note that over on the paths configuration tab, you can add more paths to follow by clicking on the plus icon in the create paths section. I'm only going to use two paths for this demonstration, but notice you also get the option to have K2 follow all paths at once, or you can configure rules to go down specific paths based on certain criteria at this point in your workflow. For path one, I'll rename it to HR tasks. Then for path two, I'll rename it to IT tasks. Next, I'll drag two user steps down to the canvas and drop them in line with these two respective paths. And I'll connect each of them to the split step. Taking a moment to configure these user tasks, I'm going to keep it fairly simple for this demonstration and just give them each single complete actions. I will also change the label names to give more meaning on the design canvas. For human resources, I'll just call it HR Processing. Then for IT, I'll name it IT Processing. I'll also take a moment to pull lines out of each of these tasks and automatically create the decision steps so we can move on to the merge step. But do make a note, if you need multiple actions within these user tasks, you can build them out accordingly and you can add more workflow steps like smart object method calls, Active Directory or SharePoint method calls, or email notifications within each parallel path based on the work that needs to be completed. Once all of the steps in these paths are finished, I want the process to merge back into one path to follow, but I also want K2 to wait until both paths in this parallel setup are completed before it moves on. I can use the merge step for this, and it's located also in the same areas where the split step is located. I'll drag the merge step over and drop it below my parallel paths on the canvas, then pull lines from each decision step down to the merge step. And let me also take a moment to move these endpoints around on the decision steps to make it look more readable. So the big configuration step that makes all of this work is configuring how we want the merge step to behave as these paths come back together. On the merge tab, we want to link this merge step to our split to HR and IT step. I won't go into too much detail now, but this is mandatory to set, and it is necessary when you have multiple split steps within the same workflow. Please review the user guide for more advanced information on the merge step and this particular setting. In the logic section, I'm going to tell K2 to wait here until all parallel paths followed are completed. Notice that we do have a few other options telling K2 how to move on and expire certain paths and activities. To save a little more time, I'm going to also refer you to the student guide for these settings and focus on the setting named wait for all paths to be completed. This is telling K2 that we need HR and IT to both finish all the steps within each path before the workflow can move beyond the merge step. If IT finishes first, the process will wait at the merge step until the human resources path catches up. We do this because possibly HR needs to set up benefits and go through background checks, and at the same time, IT also needs to set up user accounts and procure computer equipment before facilities can go set up the new employee's desk. From here, I'll add the next step after the merge, 
For simplicity, I'll just drop in a send email step, which could be just a message to the new employee's manager, letting them know where the process is. This will fire after the merge requirements are met and the workflow continues.